Self-discipline, the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Self-discipline, the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. Her ability to stick to her diet was a show of tremendous willpower and self-discipline. Pick your head up. Because right now you feel like your self-discipline meter is at an all-time low. Don't feel bad because I'm right there with you. This piece right here is just as much for you as it is for me. Because we all fall short. But now we have a go-to. Because you're going to be able to go back and listen to this audio as a resource of how to get yourself back on track when you fall short of self-discipline. Mental practice, fighting off impulses, it's time to start working your self-discipline muscle. It's going to give you a couple of tools, a couple of tricks, a couple of hacks to help you each and every time you feel like you're about to fall short. Number one, to find a reason and reward for changing a behavior. And you got to write this down. Let's say you want to change your diet. Well, the reason might be you don't feel very good. Or you don't like the way you look. Or maybe there's a health concern. The reward, you're going to feel much better. You're going to start liking the way you look. And you're most definitely going to improve your overall health. Number two. Sometimes you got to protect yourself from yourself. And what I mean by that is you have to have built-in things that help you improve your discipline. Let's say you have an issue when you go to the mall, you're always spending too much money. So set a limit. You can say something like in advance, I know I'm about to head to the mall. So I'm only going to take X amount of dollars. I'm going to leave my credit card at home. I'm going to grab my ID, put it in my pocket or my purse. I'm going to set myself up to where if I get an impulse, because self-discipline is fighting those impulses, I can't even spend any extra money. So you have to give yourself those built-in self-discipline things to help you protect you from yourself. I have to do that to myself all the time. Nothing wrong with it. Number three, accountability partners. Don't be scared to reach out for some help. You might be talking to your homeboy, you might be talking to your homegirl. Listen, I am struggling in this area. Can you please call me? Because I'm telling you, this is what I want to do. But every time I say I want to do it, I fall short. So I need you to hold me accountable. And you do the same thing for that person and ask them, do you have anything in your areas in your life that you want to improve, that you're falling short with self-discipline? And we can both hold each other accountable. And that way we can find our way exercising this self-discipline muscle because that's what it's all about. The people that have the most discipline find themselves winning more than the people that don't. Number four, self-punishment, self-reward. You know what you're supposed to do. You made the choice, you made a decision and said, listen, I'm going to do this no matter what. The times we fall short, don't get it done. Self-discipline just go right down the drain. That's when we have to set up some personal punishments for ourselves. Don't be nothing crazy. Just say, hey, I can't do this until I get that done. I can't do that until I get this done. You have to set up some little boundaries for yourself, just like in real life, because if you don't do certain things, there's going to be a natural punishment that comes with it. But in the same token, got to celebrate the small wins, self-reward. So when you do get that thing done that you said you were going to do, that you've been struggling with, you got to reward yourself. You got to pat yourself on the back. I get to do this because I did that. I get to do that because I did this. It's so important. And finally, number five, change your identity. Change how you identify with a certain situation. So if you're struggling to say, let's say stop smoking, and you made the choice, I'm going to stop smoking. And somebody asks you if you want to have a smoke, instead of just saying, no, thank you, say, no, I'm not a smoker. 
Or if you want to get out of a relationship and somebody asks you if you're still in this situation with this person, even if you still are, say, nope, me and him, me and her, we not together no more. Start changing the way you look at the situation and that'll help you start being stronger in that self-discipline department. And before you know it, you'll be out of a situation, you'll be doing the things that you say you want to do each and every day. You gotta follow through. I'm a basketball coach. And when we're teaching our players how to shoot, we always tell them at the end of the shot, follow through. Give it that little extra push. I'm telling you, anything that you're doing as it relates to self-discipline, you gotta follow through. Because that's the only way you get on the other side of this. Oh yeah, you're gonna fall short. I'll fall short, we all fall short. But now, you have this resource, this audio as a resource that you can go listen to over and over again and help you and help me get back on track when we fall short. Commit to being a master of self-discipline and ultimately, you're committing to dominating your life and winning each and every day. And once you do that, you find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.